Hey everybody, I am in Traverse City, Michigan, hanging out with the guys from Woodland Creek Rustic Furniture. They've given me permission to use their shop, build some cool jigs, and have a lot of fun with some crazy materials. Today we're gonna to meet the owner of Woodland Creek Rustic Furniture. We're gonna take a little look around, and I'm gonna tell you more about the videos coming down the pipe. This is gonna be awesome. Got any honey? Well, fist bump? What about you? You got any honey? I don't like you. They made me a throne. Nobody's even noticed I'm here. I fit right in. Hey everyone, so this is Robbie Vina. So Rob owns Woodley Creek Rustic Furniture and we've known each other for over 15 years now. Yeah, but at least that long. It's been a long time. <laughs> and um, you know, I've designed furniture for a lot of companies. I've built machines for a lot of companies. I've helped people set up production lines. And I gotta tell you, Rob owns probably the most unique furniture store I've ever seen. Well, thank you. And you guys put out some crazy products. Well, you contributed to that. You were a builder for us many years ago and helped us. And you have, and I'm sure you've seen Izzy's work. It's phenomenal and it stands out there in the marketplace. Thank you. <laughs> so um, Rob's agreed to let me come down. I'm hanging out with the guys in the shop. We're gonna do some videos. We're gonna build some jigs. We're gonna build some furniture. And we're gonna show you guys some really cool stuff. And just to kind of get things rocking and rolling here, I'm going to show you some video clips of the stores and the amazing pieces that you guys have. I know there's a lot of you guys out there who want to make a business out of furniture and the things that you do. And this guy right here is the ultimate example. I have more respect for him than anyone else out there. I didn't know it was gonna be a puff piece on this. No, no, no. <laughs> right? Thanks. I mean, but it's it's a lot of hard work. It's yeah. just, you know, I mean, are you gonna were you gonna go on to what it takes to, to get there? Is that what you're gonna say? Well, I was saying, you know, you started out in no more than what would I would call a pole barn, roughly the size of a two-car garage. It was a 1,200 square foot pole barn, 30 yeah. by 40. It was the first thing. Yeah. 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 And you have how many employees now? Uh, we started with my wife and I too, and 70, 70 right now. So. 77 employees. Now. Seven of 70. Oh, 70 employees. Okay. <laughs> and how many? All right. So what are we talking? 50,000, 60,000 of all total space with everything you've got going on now? Stores and everything? Stores and everything. Oh, no. We'd be over probably um, 100, 125,000 square feet. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 150. I have to add the Wisconsin store and then you know these here and then the, the shop and then the warehouse. And, and you have one of the largest online presences when it comes to this what this style of furniture, the rustic furniture, the very unique stuff that you right. guys do. Yeah, we've that's the that's the niche that we went after, uh, the rustic, the reclaimed, and now Live Edge is popular, which I'm sure some of your your oh yeah, we see a lot of Live Edge on YouTube. Live Edge, also, but, you know, we were doing Live Edge. You know, 20 six, years six, ago. Six, we started 20 years ago when we met, we were still doing it back then, you yeah, know, and yeah. it's nice to see this become popular and uh, people used to think we were crazy for selling barnwood furniture, making barnwood furniture, but you know, you were part of that. I mean, you were instrumental in pushing some of the designs. You and I would talk and collaborate and uh, you'd go back to your shop with your guys and a couple weeks later you'd show up with some stuff that it blew me away, you know, but that was the fun, pushing the boundaries and yeah. trying to stand out from everybody else that's what you got to do nowadays you got yeah. all these giant companies you're competing against yeah. and how do you stand out with customer service unique product and a story you yeah know? well you you know you made it through the crunch in 08 yeah that was a challenge yeah, yeah. You, but you did you yeah. know both you and uh, bob you know you guys yeah. both just really barreled through it and you did what you had to do I think one of the things I really liked about working with you is you were always willing to push the edge. You know, oh, we I, were, I encouraged that. Yeah, we were that. doing stuff that was like, you know, it was still rustic but could fit in a modern home yep. and we were just, you know, back and forth on yep. all kinds of designs. And now, honestly, uh, listen to me guys, go to Rob's website, woodlandcreekfurniture.com. Check it out. If you're looking for inspiration or you want to see some of the craziest, most insane, beautiful pieces of furniture you've ever seen, that's the place to go. Spend some time there, get some inspiration. Definitely check it out. 
Now I'm gonna take thank these you. guys. I, no, I, I'm not. <laughs> hey, hey, it's you guys. You do amazing stuff. Absolutely, thank, thank you very so. much. But again, it's I've got some wonderful, wonderful, talented guys around me. Mm -hmm. um, um, a little piece of advice my father gave me years ago is surround yourself with people that have an equal or better skill set than you. Mm -hmm. And I've done that. You know, when I met you, when I met Matt Matson in the old days, mm -hmm. all these guys, and I'd learn. I was a sponge, just trying to soak it up as much oh, as yeah. I could. You know, so. Matt, Matt's clocks were off the hook. Yeah, they were insane. Beautiful. <laughs> So, Some of those pictures are still on the website too. Are they? Right? Awesome. Know, we're awesome. still making them, but he taught us. You know? Right. So yeah, he's he's okay. So one of the things I want to do, guys, is take you behind the scenes and actually meet the guys that are building the furniture that are you know the kind of the bread and butter of the business. Absolutely. They're the know? backbone. They're the spine of this and, company. Um, I think what you're going to find very unique about this is that the shop really isn't a high fancy. You know? These guys are working with band saws and table saws yep. and, and drills and skill saws. Absolutely. I mean, so the same equipment that you would find in your shop, you're going to find that they're doing these amazing pieces of furniture with, which I think is really cool. So let's do that. Rob, thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time. You, Appreciate it. <laughs> let's go to the shop and check this out. You guys are going to be impressed. So we're at the entrance of one of Woodland Creek shops and I'm going to take you guys inside. We're going to meet a couple of the guys and take a look around. Now I want to mention before we get into this that I'm going to be doing lots of different videos from here so you get a chance to see more and more stuff. We're going to do jig videos, we're going to do furniture build videos. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go in and say hi. So I've had a chance to meet most of the guys in the shop and everybody is wonderful and one of the things I really want to stress throughout this series of videos of me working here is the skill set that these guys have is off the chain. All these guys have been woodworking for a long time and just really know their stuff. They don't require a bunch of fancy tools to get a lot of really cool projects done and we're going to be looking at some of that. We're going to be building some jigs and having a lot of fun. How big is that thing? Is it 5 by 9? 10 by 6. So you guys know this is not my typical kind of video, but I wanted to introduce you to what's coming down the pipe. I'm going to be building some crazy jigs, we're going to be doing furniture, we're going to be doing right here at the Woodland Creek shop. And I want to thank Rob uh, for letting me in and letting me show you guys just a small part of what they do. And all the people that work for Rob have been really friendly and welcoming me as well. So thank you very much, everybody at Woodland Creek. Now, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. You're not going to want to miss this video series. It is going to be wild. Glad to be back on the video, guys, and we'll talk to you all real soon.